All right, let's do this. Day 122, Reseller Reflections, a day in the life of a full-time reseller supporting her family. It is Tuesday, October 8th, 2024, and we are ready to roll. And as I'm saying that date out loud, I forgot that it, no, don't worry, it's not my anniversary or anything. Um, <laughs> or somebody important's birthday, but it is my doggies, my little chihuahuas. It is their homecoming day. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm going to have to do, we have one remaining. We adopted years ago, a father and son, and I have this still have the son. Um, the father passed away a couple years ago, but I always like to do something a little special on their homecoming day. So yeah, it's October 8th. A uh, little, sorry, sidebar there. Um, I am so hungry right now. I'm not even thinking straight. So <laughs> just bear with me a second. Um, I wanted to finish up and then have dinner. So um, yeah, uh, I am reset to zero. The shipping is done. And joining me on the Reset to Zero Challenge are Jill of Rusted Truck Relics, Jason the Santee Swapper, Char Fabulous Flamingos, Kathy Kathy Sings, Nick Mr. C Chats, Vanessa Brightest Holidays, the Diabetic Reseller, Judith R, and Pam of Whimsy and Such. Good job, guys. Yesterday in day 121, we were talking about the importance, especially now during the busy time of resetting to zero. So make sure you got that at least happening, at least that, right? It's one thing you can do a couple minutes. It'll make your life much better, much easier. Uh, sales today sucked. Um, and it has me thinking a little bit. So I'm going to talk about goals in just a second. So we did not even break a hundred dollars today in sales, which is really low for, for us. I realize some people that is that's awesome. But for what I need, what I'm doing and the type of business I run, that's, that's not great. But, you know, every day I come on here and I say, whether we met our sales goal, whether we didn't meet our sales goal and, you know, we didn't meet our sales goal today, but it's just a reminder of the importance of goals and how we measure them. Yes. I, I should not be looking at, and you should not be looking at your day to day to day. You need to take a large, because this is a roller coaster. This reselling thing is absolutely a roller coaster. So you need to be taking a larger chunk of time and looking at that. Don't do what I do, <laughs> which reminds me of the video we released today. Um, it's episode 197. It's about sell through rates. Uh, go watch it. I, I love this episode. And I think it will explain a lot about, you know, when to use sell through rates, when not to use sell through rates. Uh, you know, if you're discouraged about the sell, well, it goes into all of that. I think it's a, it's a great episode. So go ahead, listen to it. I will absolutely link it up in the show notes as well as if I can put a um, link to it on the video here uh, at the end of this video. So go watch it. It's awesome. Um, little self-promotion there. But I think you will legitimately get, if you're a reseller, I think you will legitimately get something out of that video and it will be helpful. Um, so yeah, so don't measure your, don't measure your goals over the course of, of a day like I'm doing when I come in and report to you. What is important is that larger chunk of time and how you're doing because it is a roller coaster. So I just wanted to mention that once again. I know I've mentioned it before, but it's it's worth repeating. All right. So uh, word today. Oh, well, let's start with the quote today. Molly did the quote at Motivation in Minutes this morning. It was, tell the negative committee that meets inside your head to sit down and shut up. All right, so tell that negative committee. And I challenged everybody in the mass in the motivation in minutes today to go ahead and pay attention to how you're talking to yourself throughout the day. And gosh darn it, if I didn't catch myself saying a couple negative things about myself today um, that were really just pointless. Um, they weren't uh, critiques. They weren't uh, things to improve. They were just plain out, flat out negative. And yeah, so, uh, you know, put that... Put that in your pipe and smoke it, as my mother would say, <laughs> my grandmother. Um, 
And my word of intention today was good wolf. So the little, there's a little girl, it's a little real, it's so cute. Um, and she talks about the good wolf and the bad wolf and which one wins, you know, in your mind, which one wins. And at the end, she says, whichever one you feed. And that plays into the whole, how are you talking to yourself, right? Is the negative going to win or is the positive going to win? And the good or the bad. And it's really your decision about what you're, you know, what you are feeding the wolves in your brain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so go ahead. Um, I'm going to link up, uh, link up to, uh, the video on sell through rates, but I'm also going to link up at the end of this video and also in the show notes, uh, the Mel Robbins, uh, podcast, the how to get ahead of 99% of people because it is about goals and goal setting specifically for the end of the year, right? When we know we have like, it's still the beginning of, of Q4. So when we have that little bit of time and how to use that to our advantage and how, you know, fall is a naturally um, changing season. So why not incorporate some positive changes and some goals into that? So I'm going to link those up. I hope you guys appreciate them. And I will see you tomorrow on day 123. Bye-bye. I'm going to go eat now because I'm so hungry. <laughs> Bye-bye.